Hi everyone, this is Simon from MotionVFX.com. Welcome to MLAT Introduction. MLAT is a collection of 30 color grading files. They were inspired by great feature films like a Terminator, like Star Wars, like uh, Iron Man or Amelie or Star Trek. So we decided to create uh, 30 different looks which will help you to achieve that film look in your production. So you may ask what MLAT really is. Well, the MLAT is a conversion table which basically converts one color into another. In easy words, this is a color correction file which changes one color into another. MLAT states for lookup table. LAT files can be used with different software types like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere or After Effects or Photoshop. But MLAT is also a plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5. In Final Cut Pro 10 you can find MLAT plugin by going to FX browser and choosing MLAT and dragging and dropping your MLAT plugin onto your footage. Now you will see that the plugin loads immediately, so you can go ahead to library, click it and open the LAT files. Here's the collection of LAT files. They were based on feature films, films like Terminator, like Sin City, like Fight Club, like Iron Man, like Forrest Gump or Transformers. Now we of course changed the names, but they were based, you will see that the previews were based on the movies which were created during last years. So let's take a look how to load the LAT file into our scene. So the plugin has been applied on our footage and I have few shots here. I have shots from, let's call it, Black Mamba, but you can recognize that it was based on a Kill Bill film. Now we have a future film called Sin City. Well, actually, this is of City of Crime. That's how we call it, but you can recognize the files. And here we have the Fight Club. There we have a Forrest Gump inspiration. We have a Joker from Batman. And we have a Godfather up here. So let's see how these LUT files works with these inspirations. So my MLAT has been applied to that City of Crime footage. Now I can preview my LUT files by simply clicking them. Just like that. Let's check another one. That's nice. Let's see the Hammer Lord. How about the Galaxy Battles? Now let's go to something like a shapeshifters, you can recognize the transformer here, or maybe you want to use something different like a devil lane, or maybe a virtual reality. That's pretty cool, but let's focus on the city of crime here. You can see that it's black and white, and you can recognize that it looks exactly the same as Sin City movie, and I can tweak a few settings here, I can play with the shadows. Just like that, I can play with the mid tones just a little bit, and here we go, I can click OK, and I have my look ready. So you can see that I'm going to turn off my MLAT uh, reader here, turn it on back on, and you can see the difference between all these looks. That's pretty cool. So let's have a look at the another one. Let's see the black mamba here. So I'm going to apply the MLAT plugin as well. Load it up and choose, I don't know, maybe initiation. That's pretty cool. How about this one? That's very nice. So I can play with the shadows as well. Something like that. Or I can choose the one which has been created for this shot, the black mamba. That's pretty awesome. Let's click OK. Maybe I can play with the highlights a little bit and maybe with the mid-tones as well. And you can see that exactly the same we have in our promo. Let's play it. That's awesome. So we can see the difference before and after. So this is MLAT plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. Of course you have few other options here, like uh, you can play with the contrast, you can play with the hue and saturation. So basically you load your LUT file and then you play with the settings. 
We also applied the, the grain, so you can have that little grain in your shot, which is working really nicely. The other feature you can use in the MLAT by Motion VFX, you can also load your custom LUT file. So you, if you will purchase other LUTs, you can simply load them from the hard drive, just like that. Click, load, and you have your look applied. The other cool feature we have the ML, in MLAT library is that I can add my looks to the favorites. For example, I like, I don't know, maybe this one. I just click the star, the star turns into yellow. Maybe I like this one as well, and I like City of Crime as well. Now, if I'll go to favorites, you can see that I've got my favorites looks in here. So I can unselect them to remove them from the my favorites, just like that, and they just disappear from here. This is going to be a very nice feature if you are working with, uh, I don't know, maybe three, maybe five looks. In the future, we would like to have a custom loader where you load your LUT file and you save your preview up here. But this is up to you guys. If you will decide that we should do that, we will in the next version. The browser is very unique and we want to divide it on a few different sections. This one is called Blockbuster, just like this LUT package. But in the future, we would like to release more looks and call them differently. So you will have a packages up here, different sections in different packages. So that's going to be very unique. You can use our LUT files without any plugins in applications like, for example, Photoshop. We put a little manual here so you can see how to load it up. For example, in Photoshop, you have to find your color lookup option in adjustment tab and apply it to your layers and then choose and load the correct file. Load it up and choose the file. Similar situation comes in Adobe After Effects where you can apply effect called apply color lot. Then in your effects from the utility tab, you can enable the filter and load your file. In Adobe Premiere, it's called Lumetri. So if you will find your Lumetri in the effects, you can apply it to your file and then load custom LUT file. In SpeedGrade, it's simply called LUT. So use the plus icon to choose LUT option and then browse LUT files and choose correct lookup table. In DaVinci Resolve, it's pretty straightforward. You just open your LUT folder, load your LUT files, and then apply them to your shots. If you're a Windows user and using Fusion 7, you can load MLATs as well. In Apple Motion 5, you can find MLAT plugin in the filters, Motion VFX, and there is, is a MLAT, which you just drag and drop it on your shot. Now from the inspector, you can open MLAT library and load custom LUT, just like that. The same way we did in Final Cut Pro 10. Click OK and there you have it. Of course you can apply the contrast and the other filters and play with it as you want. So this is MLAT, collection of 30 blockbuster grades, which you can use actually with any software supporting LUTs. Now we created also the FanCut Pro 10 and Motion 5 plugin, so we hope you guys will enjoy it very much. So thank you for watching. My name is Simon and I'm from MotionVFX.com Universe. Okay, hopefully to see you again soon. Take care.